Hello and a very warm welcome for this doubt solving session on a lot of queries received on hepatitis A and gonorrhea, what type of epidemic is what type. Let us try to again understand epidemic curves. It's a very simple phenomena. So beta, the epidemic curves could either be a single source that is called as a point source, single source or a point source. The point source could be a single exposure or it could be multiple exposures or MEPS. So we can have SEPS, single exposure point source, multiple exposure point source, or we can have propagated epidemic. In propagated epidemic, there is not a single source, there is multiple sources. So talking about the single exposure point source, in single exposure point source, all the cases are going to happen within one incubation period. So all the cases happen within one incubation period. That is the hallmark of SEPS. Example for this could be typical example could be like food poisoning or when we go outside have a case of a contaminated meal is taken and so on. Talking about the multiple exposure point source. Multiple exposure point source, the, uh, the epidemic curve is not confined to a single time. It is spread over days or weeks or months. So this spread will depend on what is the incubation period of that particular uh, disease, but it is always more than one incubation period. Talking about the propagated epidemic. In the propagated epidemic, again, there could be multiple sources. The point is that there is no single wave. There is multiple irregular waves can be there. And there is a person-to-person -person transmission. There could be a person-to-person -person transmission or there could be intermediate host which is involved. And there could be peaks. Of course, common sense, this is also more than one incubation period. The general understanding, the point of difference between a multiple exposure point source and a propagated epidemic is that there is a point source, there is a single source, or there could be a propagated epidemic, that is, there could be multiple sources. That is the only difference. Now coming to your query, listen very carefully. That usually the shape of the epidemic, whether it is a single exposure point source or MEPS or SEPS or propagated, the shape of the epidemic curve will uh, will general give you a general understanding that what is the pattern of the spread in many cases in many cases in many cases there is usually a mixed pattern mixed epidemic what mixed epidemic curve epidemic curve what is the mixed epidemic curve usually it will contain two things that is a common source common source or a point source multiple exposure and it also contains a propagated epidemic propagated epidemic so very uh, common sense example let us say there is a one case of hepatitis a one person of hepatitis a and this person is a carrier stage so if we introduce this person into a community this person will infect maybe five or six people okay now depending on the incubation period which is usually in terms of weeks or months for hepatitis a now initially in the initial stages it may show a MEPS type of epidemic. Followed by this over many months or maybe half year or so, this may eventually turn into a propagated epidemic. So usually diseases like, I'll write down the diseases, usually diseases like hepatitis A, usually diseases like E. coli, infections like Shigella, infections like gonorrhea, or maybe some other RTI, STI, they indeed have a mixed pattern where it is not a single best answer they may show a multiple exposure or it may show a propagated epidemic depending on what level of epidemic curve we are seeing at that particular point so it's not all or none phenomena beta that's what i wanted to explain here all the very best take care and bye bye